what happened that made you ban, put up notices saying no pyjamas in my cafe? Okay, so I, I dropped the kids off to school on Monday. I came back, I was back about half past nine and uh, I said to one of my girls, I said, is that two people sitting having, pajama- having their breakfast in their pyjamas? And they were like, yeah, could you believe it? And they were in their pyjamas, their dressing gowns, slippers and two handbags. And I just said, oh, here, is this now, is this where we're going? I've seen people in their pyjamas in Tesco's. I've seen people in their pyjamas going down for the Chinese. I've seen people walk their kids to school in their pyjamas. And I ain't having it in my place. And that's just it. So describe the pyjamas. Like, were they nice silk ones? Oh, no, were they, they were the fluffy, the fluffy, like, my, my sh- top kind of could be pyjamas-y tonight, this morning. No, these were um, fluffy pyjamas, uh, fluffy dressing gown, fluffy slippers. You know, the fluffy pyjamas that we all get in pennies at Christmas that we lounge in watching TV or being in bed. But uh, not really for going out to a restaurant, I would have thought. So what did you say to them? I didn't say anything. Like I was in such shock. I didn't say anything. I just said, you know what? I'm going to let them have their breakfast. Then they went into my gift shop and they were chatting to the girl, Neve, in the gift shop. And they said that they were on the way to um, the airport to get a flight to New York. What? So I thought, yes, they were on the way. And I tell you one thing, I wouldn't like to be sitting beside them. Why is that now? Uh, well, there was a little bit of a honk now, in fairness. <laughs> So there was a bit of, um, you know, they weren't today's pyjamas. They weren't their daytime pyjamas. Because you know the way some people say, oh, no, they're my nighttime pyjamas. They're my daytime pyjamas. Yes. It's, it's a load of... Pyjamas are for bed. They're not for outside. End of story. People, get yourselves dressed, washed, brush your hair and get, a, get your clothes off. That's my stance. This is it. OK, so what a lot of people might be saying, do you know what? Some people, they're rushing out. They just want to grab a bit of food, a cup of coffee, takeaway. They don't before have time to get changed. Not before a flight, OK? Before a flight seems a little bit much. But, like, people are like, oh, live and what let do you live. Mean you don't have time to get changed. Everyone has time to get a, throw on a pair of leggings, throw on a pair of jeans, throw on a thing to go ahead and get a cup of coffee. Now, that's now a bit much. So I think that it's just gone to a new level of, um, you know, slovenliness in this country I just think you know and I'm going to be absolutely berated about it but you know what I don't care and I'm getting calls from people all over the country to say well done in your stance well done heard you on the radio I so I just said you know what I'm sticking by it and if I have to put up a sign I had to actually take down the post because people were getting very toxic with each other I didn't engage because you know what there's no point I just said you know what I let you all go but after a couple of hours I just said oh you have to take this down people are getting really nasty to each other so I just took it down that was the reason I took it down. As a cafe owner we understand with the price hikes and everything that's going on at the minute like to turn away customers though is that something is it more about the principle as opposed to actually from the business point of view you know this is my decision I'm going to stick with it even if it means having to uh, miss out on money coming in. Tommy, if you invited me to your house and you had a policy of no shoes inside, I would leave my shoes at the door, right? It's my place, my rules. I don't care. People don't like it. They don't have to come. And I might just have a pyjama party at Christmas for everybody who wants to come in their pyjamas. But you know what? Um, I, I think that I have to stick by it. And there'll be as many people who will um, agree with my rules as, as not. And what sort of, have you had, because you said you've gotten an awful lot of support, have you had a negative reaction with people going, what's the big deal? It's still closed. They didn't come in naked. I did get that on Facebook. um, And I thought, oh my God. And then people said to me, you know, what about um, if I was bringing someone from the hospital and as I have done before and brought them. And I'm like, so you brought them from the hospital in their pyjamas. They weren't allowed to get ready, get dressed. And they weren't able to get dressed. And you brought them from the hospital in your pyjamas to a restaurant. Should you not have brought them straight to bed? Because if they weren't able to get dressed, they weren't able to um, go to a restaurant for lunch or breakfast. (laughs) Yeah, they are here. But it has opened up a kind of a debate on women's general appearance in public. And as you mentioned, on that Facebook post, it became quite toxic. Mm. Do you you have a problem with people? But you know what? I just think for us women, like we're always given out, like women get get, get a lot of heat, right? And like as a woman myself, but I just think, you know, guys, just let's just have a nice appearance going out. Like, don't go out looking like a slob because you will be more depressed because you feel like a slob. 
like get yourself like there's posters all over the hospital um, guys to saying get yourself dressed in the day if you're long term in hospital get yourself dressed your mental health will be better so if you get up get dressed get yourself washed you're already feeling better about yourself Kira, there was an issue recently, uh, actually, in a cafe sort of area in Dublin that put up a sign for men in workwear. They were allowed to come in buy food, but they were or people in workwear, but they weren't allowed. To, they said, "No, you can't sit down." They obviously had a huge backlash because people were like, "Well, we're spending money. Why, in God's name, are we not allowed to frequent your place?" Would you have an issue with people walking into the cafe if they had been, you know, working on a building site? No, I have people, uh, farmers, I've told farmers to leave their wellies outside if I thought there was a bit of muck and slurry on them. And I'll say, here, leave those wellies outside, you're not bringing them in here. But they'll be very welcome to come in. But um, no, I have, I'd be out of business if I didn't have work people. I mean, I have work people, I have people who come in, I'm wheelchair accessible, so I get a lot of um, groups from the local rehab. Um, so look, I have everybody in here. I'm just not having pyjamas, that's all. <laughs> Uh, I can, ask? Listen, with the Irish humour, I'd imagine you might have quite a few people turned <laughs> up with pyjamas for, for a bit of a laugh. And so send them out in the I rain. Have, I have a new, I'm putting up a new sign, pyjama area that way. <laughs> <laughs> I have a little, a covered area outside and they're very welcome to sit outside and have them there. Uh, well, listen, Kira Burke, listen, fair play to you. And we'd love to hear people's opinion on this at home, 0896 111 uh, The owner, of course, of Sage and Stone Cafe in Dalik, I think you've be inundated with people from that. Have a good day, guys. Thank you thank so you, much, Kira. Kira. With the world so serious all the time, Kira, thank you so much for that. I enjoyed that. It's great. Enormously.